Hello and welcome to the show. We uh, bring to you today the Fifty Shades of Vomit. Yes, that is a nickname given to a collection of lemons, really, that we are going to go racing with. You see, in the latest Horizon 3 DLC pack, the uh, AMC Gremlin uh, was brought in. The new Dodge Dart that, uh, well, quite quite frankly, the speeches, the, uh, the, oh, the old dart, terrible, terrible thing. We've had the Pacer for a little while, we've got the King Cobra, uh, and, well, it seemed like a good idea to race all of these cars together. I admit the Vega, perhaps the nicest looking of the lot of them, but not a huge amount of power going on in, uh, in this car. They've all, uh, well, they've all had, uh, upgraded tyres on them, and a, a little bit, a little tink tinker around with the engines, just to make them all vaguely, vaguely similar. Not much power's been added to, uh, to anything, yes. Slightly more modern tyres to be competitive with the dart, and we're going to go racing to see which is going to be the king of the vomit mobiles. The colours on these cars are all uh, factory ones. Yeah, they all came in in these cars. Well, the the green on the uh, dart is the blue isn't, uh, and I don't think that uh, actually no, the black on the king cobra might be. Not sure, um, but yeah. <laughs> They're hideous. They are hideous cars. However, what we have learned from many episodes of Fail Race, the dumber the vehicle is, the better the race intends to be. That is the hope with these. So, uh, here we are at the ugliest of starting grids, so pretty much of all time. I am at the back with the Vega. Got it. The two Pacers are at the front here. I have the lightest car by a fair margin. The Vega's only £2,200, which is quite nice. The Pacers have the biggest tyres in this field. Oh, what was that? A suspension wobble going on. <laughs> Uh, all the cars are on completely stock suspension. Vehicles have been given uh, diff upgrades to avoid, well, constant one-tire fires. Uh, while I am lightest, I am probably the least powerful at a massive 125 horsepower. Uh, up from, I think it's 110 to begin with. There are four wide for the lead. There's a King Cobra almost, almost touring the uh, touring the grass. We cannot be as fast through there as I hoped we could. No, Vega! Vega, we need to do better. We need to do better. There is a great battle going on ahead of us, and we must try and, uh, well, be a part of it. We could do without bumping the wall anymore. This circuit uh, might not suit the Pacers. I'll be honest. The, uh, the Pacers might be in trouble. It might actually work out quite nicely for the dart, in all honesty, around here. We've got a little bit more go here as we come down the hill. It especially helps... Oh, the dart's off in the scenery. The brakes are non-existent on my car. <laughs> Uh, I say the brakes are not existent. We're not going very fast. You jump on the brakes and just nothing ever really happens uh, going on here. Uh, I, I have given it the uh, the fake blower on the top. Uh, the reasons? Uh, because why on earth not? There's probably not enough power in this engine to run a supercharger on the top of it. It certainly isn't supercharged. Uh, but there was an option to put it on the car. So, you know, we're trying to make hideous mobiles. The Pacers are so slow on the way up the hill. The lightness, the lightness of the Vega. It is the way to go. Uh, it is kind of the way to go here. Please turn, please turn, please turn. No, don't turn. Fine. There is just... <laughs> Sorry to any of the Pacers that I may, if I put any of you uh, out wide, I'll put you in any trouble there. <laughs> I'm thinking, yes, we can carry speed in this car. No, no, you cannot. You might as well forget carrying too much speed through there. Uh, what was the last car I drove on? Oh, yeah, I know the last car I drove on this game. It was the NSX. You know, the, the NSX that went around the Hot Wheels track that had all of the grip, many downforces, and, well, now we've got this that doesn't brake, doesn't turn, doesn't really power, uh, doesn't really know what power is, doesn't know what to do with it. I thought that Mustang would get going. It didn't. Oh! oh I thought he was going to spin a King Cobra. It's just a little bit of lag. Disappointing. We wanted to see an embarrassment. Oh, we've been passed by a gremlin. It is never a good day. Although we are going to get the gremlin back up the hill. <laughs> the gremlin needs gravity on its side. When we go to a hill, in fact, God damn, I'm losing speed climbing up a hill. Nope. <laughs> They're not going to pass us. I, I have a feeling at this circuit here, the uh, the Dart and the Gremlin are the way to go. Well, there's lots of corners for cars. I say cars like the Vega. Uh, cars like the Vega and the Pacer to be better around these corners uh, than the vehicles ahead. The, the, the hill kind of kills these cars' chance. Uh, we're going to try and sneak our way up the inside of a King Cobra. It's side by side racing over fifth place. Come on, Chevrolet. Come on, we can maybe... Nope. Nope. Can't do it. We can't... 
<laughs> the Cobra's got the legs on us. That's no good. That will not do. Oh, God. Trying to find a way to the inside there. Not going to work. Maybe we can have a dive. Oh, well, we can, especially if the Cobra's going to wiggle its bum around in front. Trying to slow down. Oh. <laughs> ah, we're surrounded by yellow vomit mobiles. Careful. Ah. Uh, now three wide. We are three wide, although the... Uh, <laughs> I forgot this is the final lap because it's a short race because the cars are terrible. What happened to the Cobra? I don't know. The Cobra got s completely swamped coming up the hill. Go on. Go on, Gremlin. Pacer. Pacer. That one's the Pacer. I'll remember. He got it. Hey. The Pacer would uh, beat the Cobra. <laughs> what a dumb race. What a dumb race indeed. The Dart uh, wasn't embarrassed out here. The Dart wasn't embarrassed in this one. Uh, it did manage to beat the, uh, the the more classic lemons. I think the gem gremlin, sorry, gave it a little bit of a, a run for its money. Perhaps not too surprised at this opening opening circuit. We can do better. We can definitely do better with the Vega. Well, the vomit buckets have come to a different circuit. Tend not to run around here too often. The gold mine cross country circuit. There is jumps and bumps and general horribleness for our vehicles to have to try and deal with. God damn it, the Gremlin and the Dart are starting at the front. The Dart, the only front-wheel drive car here. And probably got the most power. I think it's 180 horsepower, but it is relatively heavy. So we might have the acceleration on him. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, our car might not be too bad. This is a more technical circuit. It might not be too, too bad oh, in the off-road sections. We'll wait and see. I've got about the wibbliest and wobbliest of suspensions that uh, you can imagine it's three wide ahead of us as we head across the bridge now. It is going to be the pacer that takes the lead. Oh, Gremlin's in the wall. Gre <laughs> oh, no. The poor Gremlin, betrayed by his fellow AMC, has been put in the wall. Oh, the other pacer's come bouncing his way past me. That is a spectacular sight if ever I saw one. Go on, Team Pacer. If I cannot beat the darts, you go, you go and do it for us. We must embarrass the new car with all of the lemony goodness. Oh, crap. Uh, no, don't have a wobble in front of me. <laughs> there was some panicking and avoiding going on there. I would also not advise trying to fit two cars wide through that section, but there we go. The dart is probably not having too much fun with the old traction across these bumps. I'm not having too much fun with a general lack of grip. The Mustangs are quite fast in a straight line compared to me as well. Try and get things right through there. A minor brush on the wall. I will I will take getting away with a minor <laughs> a minor brush on the wall there. Ugh, there is no grip. Oh god, there is no grip. There is no power. There is just nothing in my Vega. I'd hoped I'd hoped we might be a bit better here because well, we're so light. So surely it's got to count for something. Somewhere. <laughs> Why is the bouncing? I don't know. Ah, we have eaten a flag. It is the most uncontrollable, bouncy thing I've ever... Okay, off-road is not so good for the Vega. I thought it might be. I was wrong. I was so very, very wrong. I have a feeling that uh, the... Oh, Christ, where are we going? The second of the King Cobras may have missed a checkpoint. I would expect them to be, uh, to be faster around here. Well, we've lost third. Can we beat... Uh, King Cobra. That is what this race has kind of come down to. We've got to try and be neat and tidy. We've got a couple of laps. A couple of laps to try and make progress. It actually looks like the Dart is struggling here. It has lost ground on the uh, on the leader. I can carry a little bit more speed through here, though, than that Ford. Yes, we will try and sneak up the inside. Come on, Chevrolet. You can do it. You can make it. You can make a pass stick. It can if the Mustang goes that wide. <laughs> I will take it. I will take it indeed. Now, all we need is to not have issues with the bumps, or as many issues with the bumps. <laughs> as I say that, look at the flight path there. That's ridiculous. Uh, we're going to try to take a tighter line here, avoid going out wide, because that's where we've lost loads of time in uh, the two previous laps. The rain has uh, come to an end as well, which is nice. A little bit of a flight through there. No major problem, though, on that bit. Oh, come on, Vega. There we go. Through the water. We've lost... Uh, the King Cobra's gone. Are we going to be on our own? Oh, I think we are. Well, we had a little bit of fun with the Ford. Come on, Vomit Bucket. You can make it around the next few quarters. We can go for fastest lap. In fact, the Dart is uh, fallen back to third. Looks like this track, much more suited to the uh, the Pacers. My Vega fairing a little bit better. I, th I think I've actually got the pace on the Dart as well. Although the suspension is what lets it down. 
wasn't expecting necessarily the Vega to have the most suspension issues around here. It is, uh, it was wobbly. Yeah, we knew it was wobbly to begin with. I thought it might actually help it out in some ways, might help smooth out the bumps. But that is a, not the case here at all. It's really, really quite poor uh, around here. The Dart is looking like he's fighting back with that, uh, with that pacer. Unfortunately, they're just out of range of kind of sight. I can see the dots on the map. I can look at the uh, the times on the, uh, I guess, scoreboard or whatever. But uh, yeah, we are not able to witness the great fight for third place. We had a bit of fun with the Mustang. We fought with a uh, pacer for a couple of, for the uh, for the opening lap. Uh, but the bounciness of the Vega was too much. And then we've thrown it all away in any, t any attempt of a fast lap with a big old slide through there. Yeah, it didn't quite work out here. <laughs> Definitely didn't quite work out there. Let's have a look at... Uh, oh, wow, that's a 10, 1017. Admittedly, I did fluff up any chance at a fast lap at the end there. Wow. Very, very close, actually, between the two paces and the dart. Uh, very close in terms of a lap time. Far, far quicker than my Chevrolet. Oh, very close. The Gremlin just, just beating that, uh, that Mustang across the line. Well... The dart has been beaten. I would like to beat it with my Vega, which I'll see if I can manage that at some point. So we are hoping that my Chevrolet can come good amongst a field of not particularly good cars. We're... It would be nice. It would be nice if the game even vaguely gave me a chance in, in, <laughs> in all of this. Just a small smidgen of a chance, like a pole position, uh, would be quite uh, quite helpful. Because, uh, let them go. The, uh, the dodge is, as you might expect, not particularly fast off the line. It looks like the King Cobras are going to lead the way. Now, we should have more straight line speed than the two, well, we saw we had more speed going around the hills than the paces. They've got us on quartering overall, probably fairly evenly, evenly matched around a circuit like this one. Oh, I thought I could be brave and get away with that. I keep doing the same. I keep thinking this car has got a bit more grip than it does. The problem is now I've thrown myself to a point where we are a little bit too far back and I think we might have a long old race. <laughs> It's Dart versus uh, King Cobras at the front. You see, we can be flat out around these corners. Almost. Not quite, actually. All right. Oh, King Cobra's gone round. Uh, around there, the blower's actually really uh, dis disrupting the view. There we go. The lack of visibility was uh, a real problem. And, uh, yeah, I'll we'll have to drive in this view. It's just, just at those corners, it's really, really bad. And they are quite important ones. Okay then, Vega, let's see if we can actually try and get into the mix here. The more they fight, the better it works out for me. The more that they go two and three wide through the corners, the more that it helps the uh, the Vega, especially if they end up bumping and barging into one another. It looks like the King Cobras, are, uh, the K a King Cobra is starting to get away a little bit at the, uh, the front, uh, along with the Dart, though, they're busy fighting. It's three wide going on for, I think, third place at this moment in time. Vegas. <laughs> There's literally about two places where we break around this circuit if we get things right. Didn't get them right last time around as the uh, Gremlin is continuing to look for the outside of that uh, King Cobra. Oh, come on, use some of that, what little power you have, but use all of it as, as best you can. I think the Dart has managed to uh, get himself into the lead and is starting to run a little bit clear at the front. Yeah, I think the dart is uh, checking out ever so slightly of this race. We're going to run as much on the inside as we can. All of the signs, all of the debris is being thrown at the car. Lap time wise this is all very close here. We are ever so slightly, I think, catching the group ahead. It's whether we have enough time. It's going to have to be a last lap dive. Come on, we can do a last lap dive on something. Something somewhere is going to be dive-bombed by a Vega. <laughs> oh, King Cobra got himself in a world of trouble at turn one. He was pushing, I think, trying to catch the dart. And, uh, oh no, the dart's gone. The dart must have missed a checkpoint. The dart has floundered somewhere. It's all one big train of cars. Come on, Vega. You've got to get an overtake in this race. You've got to try and get an, uh, an overtake here. Oh, we're not going to do it, I don't think. I don't think we can. I'm trying everything in my power with this car, and it's not much, really. I'll be honest. Ah, if I hadn't hit the wall at turn one, 
I, I was expecting on the, saw the opening lap he wouldn't have enough speed to actually get into trouble there. Apparently, I was uh, very, very wrong indeed. We are off on the grass. The King Cobra is even more off on the grass. Trying to, <laughs> trying to get that one back. His lap times, I think, are going to be very, very close. Running in clean air, I was able to make up. But look at that. Okay. Admittedly, the Gremlin is the fastest car. Uh, Pacer, Mustang, Pacer, Mustang. My Vega at the dark gets fastest lap in the end. But missing a checkpoint will, uh, will do you in. Yeah. Close midfield. Close, close midfield. I threw everything at trying to catch that. Try to find ways past. It wasn't quite enough in the, uh, in the Vega. So we are on to our final race at the Rainforest Cross Country Circuit. A brilliantly balmy track. And for once, the game has been nice and started the Vega on pole. At the circuit, it is uh, probably going to be very unhappy with. I don't know, because while it wasn't very good out in the, uh, kind of around the airfield area, it might not be too bad here. And th uh, th there is, there is an element of optimism about that, I think. But, maybe it'll come good. Maybe it'll all come good in the final race, Paul the Fort, but maybe not with such a steep hill. I, I did forget about the steep hills around this circuit. It's a lot of hill for the Vega, but the Vega is the lightest. He's got the least weight to drag up said hill, so that's a positive. I think. Uh, <laughs> fly, Chevrolet, fly. Oh, God, there's no, there doesn't even get airtime over there. That's how slow we're going. Now, let's not throw things away by being stupidly brave because we are literally on bicycle wheels through most of it. Uh, something went very, very wide through the water. Don't really want to uh, pay too much attention. Just focus across these bumps. Be nice and planted. Well done, car. Uh, something's got very lively. There's a laggy dot on the mini I can say something got very, very lost, but that's got to be lag because you can't go out there and still be getting checkpoints, quite frankly. Uh, right, we have got... Okay, it's an interesting top two. Uh, it's me versus a uh, pacer. The pacer with none of the uh, speed up this hill here. Which is apparently... Oh, God, where am I going? Where am I going? Uh, I just trying to avoid the bushes for some reason. Uh, apparently a strong uh, suit of this car is its hill... No, second gear is going to have to be. Second gear, I should have changed down. I should have left it in third, because when we did, we then lost all of the momentum. It's going to be three wide. Didn't really know what gear we wanted at that point. Kind of have to experiment a little bit as we fly our way down the hill. It's going to be three wide, is it? No, the dart, the dart is going to come across and only just get the checkpoint. He will go and fall in the water. I will follow him because I tried to push my car a little bit too hard there. It's side by side between me and <laughs> a pacer. There was a Mustang alongside as well at some point. Uh, I say a Mustang, King Cobra. Uh, really? Oh, come on, Vega. We can do it. There's an interesting rumble going on behind me. I'm not sure what that's from. I assume the King Cobra sounds uh, more of an interesting engine note than what we've currently got going on here. We've pulled away from the King Cobra. We're up the inside of the Pacer. Come on, Vega. Come on, we've got one more lap. Just one more lap to last of this horrible, horrible torment in the vomit mobiles. Can we do it? Oh, the King Cobra is coming. The Mustang is to the outside of all of us. I don't really know where this uh, don't, The gearbox doesn't really seem happy with that uphill bit. It's not great. It's not great for the uh, the car. We seem to have lost the uh, the dart. The dart has tumbled his way down the order. The Gremlin is on the way as well. Oh, we got a little bit of assistance from the Pacer. I think I'm about to lose this. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it's all it took. All it took was just enough to upset the car, and it, the suspension just wobbles, and that's that's the car done, basically. The Wobblematic suspension cannot deal with any any upsetting at all. The Gremlin will outrun us. It is going to be uh, a victory for the Pacer. Gremlin second, because I can't. I've got no, no answer to that. I am faster than the Pacer, but I've got no answer for the Gremlin. Third place for us, but we were a lot more competitive there which I am pleased about. I assume that the fastest lap there, uh, when we were battling, I must have got dirtied laps because, you know, we were definitely competitive in that one. Yeah, we were <laughs> We were better. The dart uh, was uh, the dart was around our lap times, actually, at, uh, at that particular circuit. Well, we found a track that the Vega was okay around, which is, which is nice. Although, as, as soon as it gets just the tiniest bit upset, that suspension is awful. It really is terrible, terrible suspension on this uh, on this vehicle. I don't know who's the, who's the victor of the Vomitmobiles. I would say the audience, but then you've also had to watch these cars race. So, 
I don't know. Uh, you guys can decide who is the victor of the vomit meals. Um, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for for watching, and I apologise for anyone who has who has thrown it up during this. Until next time, uh, goodbye.